and with the validation of the RNA suite extraction kit for COVID-19 testing kit, an innovation with the capacity for testing of large number of people, the 5 million uh, farmers and fa uh, farm laborers will be tested. Justin Bem Unyi reports that the RNA suite extraction kit for COVID-19 invented by the Nigerian scientists present to Africa the uniqueness of commercial affordability and availability that has accurate and sensitive testing capacity. A major challenge in the COVID-19 fight, particularly for developing countries, is how to increase the low level of testing capacity amid global scarcity and high cost of standard RNA extraction kits. A concern for both the urban and rural areas of the country where farmers reside. However, there are fears that the food security chain may be compromised by COVID-19 if measures are not put in place to stem community spread. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development had requested the testing of millions of farmers as a way of curbing the pandemic, especially now that community transmission is on the increase. Therefore, the innovation by a Nigerian scientist at the University of Sheffield comes as the most sought-after relief, with a validation by NCDC and the most stringent protocols with the National Biotechnology Development Agency, the Nigerian Institute for Medical Research and Open Forum on Agricultural Biotechnology. Uh, the kit is uh, quite uh, uh, cheap. It is about... Uh, 500% uh, cheaper than uh, what we have at the present. This, this is an, uh, it's an emergency and we need to rapidly de de deploy, not only rapidly deploy the technology, but also rapidly set up the, the plant, the facility for local production, which will enable us, you know, uh, ramp up testing massively in the country and in fact in the rest of, uh, of Africa. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, through the Farm Worker Testing Program Initiative, aims to deploy about 10 million units of the kit, just as the African Development Bank plans to massively deploy COVID-19 testing across the continent in what is tagged Test Africa Initiative. Justin Bemungi, NTA News. Right now, Dr. Rose Maxwell Gidado, Country Coordinator, Open Forum on Agriculture Biotechnology, is uh, in the studio to throw more light on the groundbreaking innovation of RNA sweep diagnostic kit for COVID-19 testing. You're welcome to the studio. Thank you. All right, uh, the challenge of a test is now mitigated with RNA sweep COVID-19 test kit intervention. So, relatively, how cheap and reliable is the kit? Yeah, the, 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 the kit is actually um, very reliable. It's uh, cheaper than the commercial, uh, the standard commercial test kits that are actually being used now um, by countries in the world. That's the Kiajin kit and then the Life River kits. And so it's, it's, it's 50 times, you know, 50 times... Um, you know, cheaper, you know, um, and then it's also, it's 500 times cheaper, and then it can actually increase testing capacity by at least 50 times, and so, and then the cost is actually going to be in between $10 to $15, um, and that's, if you multiply it, you know, $10 by $460, you know, I mean, 460 naira per dollar, of course, it's, it it's, um, gives you 4,600 per test, while the commercial, the standard commercial kit um, takes 20,000 per test. And so it's as cheap as that. And then it is also versatile. It covers a broad spectrum, you know, of, um, of uh, many viral infections. It covers other disease outbreaks, not just the COVID-19. So you see, yeah, it's used not just for COVID-19, it's also used uh, broadly. So it's, it's an innovation, you know, that was um, brought about, invented so, by So Nigerian tell scientists. us, how, how soon do we commence the use of the uh, kit? Um, what, uh, where we are now, you know, with the successful validation carried out by the 
by NCDC and the National Biotech Development uh, Agency. Where we are now, of course, we are just at the time of placing order, getting the state government, individuals, you know, private sectors, you know, to come in and place order. Um, the, we, are, we are ready to start, uh, I mean, the manufacture, and then the funding, of course, is being supported by the African Development Bank. The president of the African Development Bank is very passionate about um, this project, and I think um, all preparations are in top gear, you know, for the manufacture of the first 10 million kits. It's going to be first 10 million kits, of course, to cover a uh, very large, you know, population in Nigeria. And Nigeria is actually going to be used as a hub, you know, for other African countries, as a model for other African um, countries. And All right, so, so uh, we understand that Africa Development Bank plans to massively deploy the kits for testing across Africa. How would this be done and what does Nigeria stand to benefit from the intervention? Okay, um, Nigeria is going to be the hub, just like I said. Nigeria is going to be the hub. Nigeria is going to be the model for this because we are starting here uh, in Nigeria. And so for the other African countries, the African Development Bank is going to leverage on the capacities of the, the Center for Disease Control uh, offices in other African countries. That is the in-country Center for Disease um, Control offices over there. They will leverage on their capacity to ensure expansive, you know, elaborate testing. You know, it's, it's actually done. And so that's how it's going to be. Um, and then they will start, they, they're also involving the Africa Center for Disease Control in this. The Africa Center for Disease Control will actually carry out another validation over there. And the successful validation that will result from that, of course, uh, the other African countries will cover all African countries, all other African countries. That right, may thank be you very no much, Dr. Rose Maxwell, for the insight there. We do appreciate you coming to the studio always. Uh, this thank is you. the news on NTA International. We take a short break now. The news continues in a moment. <laughs>